Hello and welcome to a very interesting intraday trading strategy built and backtested with Python and the Binance API. The strategy is straightforward. If the Bitcoin price or whatever coin you want to consider is climbing by at least 1% within an hour, you set a target profit of 2% expecting a positive momentum and also set a stop loss of 2% in case the trend reverses. In this video I'm giving you a full walkthrough to pulling the necessary data do the right calculations and backtesting the strategy. In the potentially next video, which is always dependent on the engagement, I will implement this in a live market. So please do me a favor, leave the video a like, a comment and just share. Simple as that. Important disclaimer, concepts shown in this video are not an investment advice. Videos for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, let's get started. Some libraries are needed, pandas, numpy, and I'm working with the Python Binance library here, so make sure you have it installed beforehand. I will link a video where I'm explaining it in more detail. In that video, you will also get an in-depth explanation of this function, which is pulling intraday price data for a given coin starting at a given date. So this is just pulling K lines, so candlestick data or open high low close volume data. This is the time frame, so I'm using one hour granular data here. And then I'm just filtering out unnecessary data, give the columns meaningful names, and then set the index of that data frame to the timestamp and transform the currently Unix format timestamp into a human readable timestamp. Rest of the data frame, so open high low close volume, I'm transforming to floating values. Calling this function for eg Bitcoin starting in the beginning of this year would end up with a data frame like this. So you see one hour granular open high low close data. Now to get the hourly return, I'm applying the PCT change function on the close column of the data frame and create a column red containing this hourly return. So you see, we're getting the data frame with the new column containing the return. So for instance, this is telling you that between this and this row, the Bitcoin was rising by very marginal amount here. So you also see that taking a look at the close price. All right. Next, and this is an optional step, I was using a histogram to get a better understanding of how the hourly returns are distributed. In specific, I was interested in the tails of the histogram. So what are the extreme returns on a hourly base? There is one more thing we have to add. That is a price column containing the next candles open price. Reason behind that is to have a realistic buy price. As you are considering the return, which is based on your current close, you can only buy on the next candle. If you would buy on the close, your strategy would contain information which you don't actually would have had. This is called a forward looking bias. With that, we are getting rid of it and end up with a price column which is simply containing the one row backwards shifted open column. So to take an example, this is simply this value, this is simply this value and so on. Next, I have a decent amount of code here, but don't worry about it. I will guide you through this step by step. Before that, let's break it down. What do we have to do now? We need to iterate over our data frame. Check every single row if the Bitcoin was rising by at least 1% by on the next day's open and then simply check for our stop loss and target profit. So if the Bitcoin is falling by at least 2% after that race, we are directly selling. But if the Bitcoin is rising by at least 2%, so it has a strong momentum, we are taking the profit by selling. So first I'm setting a position flag to screen if we are currently in a position. I'm also setting up an empty list which will be populated with the returns generated by the strategy within the loop. Then I'm looping over the whole data frame. If we are not in a position, we're checking for the return being above 1%. 
If that's the case, we are buying and storing the buy price, which is the next day's open. We also want to track when we bought, taking the current index, which is the timestamp when the buying signal occurred. Reason behind this is we have to check later on in the setting condition if this candle is already passed in the loop. Otherwise, you would apply your target profit and stop loss on your current candle, which is wrong. Once I bought, I exactly know my target profit, which is 2% above the buy price, and the stop loss, which is 2% below the buy price. After we bought, we are setting the position flag to true, as we are in a position now. So let's go over the setting condition. We are checking two things. First, if we are in a position. But also very important, if the current index is after the timestamp of the buy. As I just explained, with that we avoid that we are selling on the same candle. Then we are checking if the high of the row is above our target profit. If that is the case, we hit the target profit and can log in a profit. I'm storing the relative profit here. So I'm taking the target profit, subtract the buy price and set that into relation to the buy price. What's commented here are trading fees on Binance. You can trade Bitcoin for free, so this is only applicable for other coins. After calculating the profit, I'm storing it in our profits list. And then set the position flag to false as we are not in a position anymore. The whole same logic is applied on the stop loss. So if my low is below the stop loss, I'm calculating my relative profit again, append it to the list and set the position flag to false. When the loop is through, you have a list of profits on your trades. To make calculations easier, I'm transforming this list to a pandas series. And then I'm just accumulating all returns. So I've also considered how many of my profits are uh, positive and negative. But here I'm accumulating all returns. So you see I'm ending up with quite an impressive return of roughly 33%. To plot the returns, I'm taking the cumulative products and end up with a chart showing the strategy development, as you see here. Now, maybe this was a good year for the strategy. So let's go back and include a whole another year. So let's just pull price data starting in the beginning of 2022. Might take some time because think about it, you're pulling one hour granular data. Right, so this will end up with a lot more rows than you have currently. So you see now you have above 12K rows. So let's execute everything. And once again, the loop again. And as you see, we even got a better Result here, so 43% since 2022. So check this out for other time horizons, other coins, other entry and exit thresholds. But overall, I think this is quite an interesting starting point. What would be also quite interesting as an add-on here would be a trading target profit, which would most probably even more benefit from the positive momentum. This is just a guess, so I didn't back that with data yet. Also, I think this would be a good use case to trade this fully automated. So if you're interested in that, leave the video a like and a comment, and I'm happy to set up a script to trade this in the real market and challenge if this is really persistent. That said, thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to see you in the upcoming videos. Bye bye.